Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Sunday night coffee talk. Let's uh, take a look and see who is here. My goodness, it's been busy. We've got Carrie parking the boat for the stream. Then let's see, uh, he says he wants to see us use the short beans, not the long beans. Well, maybe maybe soon we'll do some, green, some regular green beans, string beans. Uh, awesome moderators, Attila and, uh, and Air Fry and Andy tonight. Uh, Sharon is here. Let's see, and Brenda uh, is here. Hey, good evening. Glad, glad you could hang, hang out with us too. Uh, Mama Bear Lynette, nice to see you. Let's see. Uh, Rocky Mountain Girl, hey, good evening, good evening. And Miss Perfectly Imperfect Keto, hey, good evening. And thank you for reminding everybody that uh, hit the thumbs up. That really helps out with our live, with our uh, YouTube channels. Let's see. I think that's everyone for the moment, and I know more people will join us, but uh, I've got my, my water is just starting to heat up for the tea. Hey, Visual Keto, nice to see you. And tonight, we're going to be talking about these long beans. Check it out. They're like an entire foot. Now, these long beans, uh, they can actually grow up to about three feet, but usually this is about where they are uh, They are picked because this is when they are most friendly for eating Once they get to that three foot They've got a big circumference and the uh, beans inside come to full maturity Which means you have to shell them and have the meats from the in from the meats have the beans from the inside and cook them like you would a black-eyed pea Hey, good evening uh, Jen, nice to see you. So, uh, and you know, a lot of people do, they basically, they, they, they're very similar to like your standard string beans, but they're technically what would be called a cowpea. Um, but the way we're going to cook them and treat them is definitely going to be more similar to a green bean. And I'm going to make a very, we're going to make a spicy green bean. Uh, uh, they do have uh, an end that you've got to cut off. I'll come around so you can see it and you can kind of see how they, they look up close. So, well, sort of you can see it. They've got a, a tip and then sort of like the same kind of tip that you see at the end of a green bean. And those we have to trim off. So, and, uh, We'll do that just quick here. Very easy to take care of. Now, when you cook these, lots and lots and lots of different ways. Uh, and some people blanch them, other people don't do, uh, don't. So eventually you'll experiment and find the ways that you like it. Hey, good evening, Mike Sandy. So even though I cut the tips off, since some people are joining us. Hey, Rick Wynn. Uh, uh, good to see you. Uh, we're doing uh, Chinese long beans. And tonight when I cook them, we're going to uh, kind of cheater make uh, some spicy long bean. I would uh, not consider this the uh, a traditional spicy Chinese long bean. But you could... Uh, uh, but there are just a few changes that I make because of my personal taste and likes. So, uh, other things about these long beans, you see that they're really flexible. You know, like green beans will snap in half. These are soft and foldy. Uh, if you get them a bit longer, they often do get uh, weaved and they'll take one and they can tie it into a bundle. And what you do with those, that's for pickling, but I broke it. It kind of needs so you, when you do find them, they're usually bundled up, tied with another bean, and uh, folded in half. So it's not as obvious that they're these big, giant beans. Oh, Car Carrie, Carrie's mentioning Mr. Bean. Can I just tell you, I love Mr. Bean. He's so funny. Uh, I don't, and please don't, don't even tell me if he's done something bad and we're not supposed to like Rowan Atkins anymore. That will just kill me because... Uh, his con I don't know. It's just hilarious to me. Hey, good evening, Barely Begun. So, Gosh, 
gosh, where's our Texas, where's the rest of our Texas contingent, I wonder? Our, uh, the, uh, Shelly and Heath and Renee, they're all MIA. They pro well, Renee had surgery, maybe she's finally resting. She's been posting and, uh, you know, finding dogs in the yard. Like, I'll just tell you, I don't know, if I have, if, when I have surgery, I need to, like, stay in bed for a couple days. <laughs> Uh, Carrie says, uh, did you see, he said, I have a, a, a being here so long. Oh, have I, have I been here so long? Oh my goodness. No, I did miss it, Carrie. You know, it's, it goes by even when it's not busy. And for whatever reason, my, uh, my, my eyes are bad today. So, I don't know if, it, if it's my glasses need extra or what. I lost track. Here we are. Lost track of the beans that I've cut. Hey, Gigi's here. Nice to see you. And Alum's awesome keto. Yeah, so uh, I'll just show you guys again. Super long beans. We'll talk some more about them as we go, but I'm just uh, snipping the edges off and then we'll cut them up into manageable pieces. And tonight, the tea that we're having is the Taiguanyin. Now, the Taiguanyin tea if you know a lot about tea, you might be like, hey, Matreya, you pulling a fast one? Didn't we just do Iron Goddess tea? And isn't that the same thing? And the answer is they're very close relatives. Uh, Iron Goddess tea is, uh, well, Taiguanian is an Iron Goddess tea, but all Iron Goddess tea is not Taiguanian. And that is because the Taiguanian is uh, roasted at a higher temperature uh, and so it's a bit more toasty but also the Taiguanian is exclusively from the uh, the Anchi region whereas even though it's the same plant the uh, the mother iron goddess that that tea can come from multiple regions and so this is, is a very specific uh, brand of the tea. Oh yeah, and Carrie said he also thought I, because he does know a lot about tea, thought I was uh, pulling the fast one on you. Hey, the warden, I was just saying we hadn't seen you guys. All right, so I hear my water has come to temperature. So let's go ahead and get the tea Oh, it smells so nice. I'm going to bring this jar up so that you can take a look and see how lovely the leaves are. So, just, uh, oh, and the Iron Goddess, which is a, a lighter, uh, a roast of the tea leaves, I'll just say these get like this kind of like a, a almost a shiny uh, look to them. They're, uh, and it's actually really quite the skill too because the higher temperatures it's super easy to burn the leaves so they've got to they've really just got it down to perfection between uh, uh, really toasting up the leaves and drying them out versus uh, burning them and giving you a bitter mess so just want a little more in there so, and as you can see, this uh, a, a jar of tea lasts a long time, so that's why we get the kind with the rubber gasket seal. Hey, good evening. So, uh, Hungry Heath has joined us. Uh, Carrie says he's still melting in his house. He had to stop using the AC, drinking down ice water like it's candy. Yep. That's like probably the best thing you could do. The other thing you could do is if you have some ice water, uh, put yourself a, uh, a cloth in it and put it across the back of your neck uh, and I know it warms up quickly but that for a little bit that'll help uh, sometimes not all the time our dollar stores will get those cooling cloths that have the, the little beads in there and if you uh, uh, wet them and let them swell up then put them in the freezer for 30 minutes that will help too with keeping your body core temperature down I put put it in the wrong spot as per usual, let's not maybe uh, 
as per usual, we have to bloom our tea, just like we bloom coffee and all of our other drinks. So we'll get it going, and you'll see that this tea takes a little bit longer to start uh, brewing. So we're going to give that, uh, and you know, it is turning golden, but it's a slightly lighter golden than uh, the other Iron Goddess we did. And that's all right. It's just that instead of the uh, 10 to 15 seconds, uh, we're going to leave this for probably about uh, 30 seconds, 45 seconds for that first initial bloom. That's to help get moisture back into those extra toasted leaves. So, and uh, since the warden joined us, the, the Parkers are here. Uh, we're doing long beans. So the long beans are they are associated with Asia because when they started growing in Asia, they are very uh, trop uh, tropical resistant and also uh, in drought times, they still, uh, they still subsist. So they're a really good long, long, longevity sort of uh, crop. Uh, they're newer to the United States. So let me get my uh, extra tea out. Get rid of that ugly, bitter part of the tea and now we can get that going. All right, so now you can see it's starting to teafy right away. So what did everyone do this weekend? Share me some stories. Tell me about your adventures or your non-adventures because sometimes those relaxo weekends are the absolute best. Just give that a little bit of agitation to help loosen up the leaves. We'll cover it up. All right. So now we're good. I've got my long beans that were uh, a bit over a foot. Hey, Susan B. And now I've cut them into what's basically looks like green bean uh, size and shape. So let's get our skillet going. Oh, I see Carrie's at 603 days. This is going to be a lifelong adventure for you. It's good watching your health. So I'm going to throw into my pan that I put on medium heat. Obviously, we're going to need a spatula. Forgot to get it out, but it's just right there, so it's all right. We're going to go ahead and put our bacon grease. Now, bacon grease is not something they would normally use. Normally, uh, in a lot of their cooking, in a lot of uh, Chinese cooking and Japanese cooking, they use a uh, vegetable oil, especially uh, fond of canola oil, which is not a thing that I enjoy. So I'm going to use bacon grease. I like the way it tastes. I like the way it uh, uh, brings it together. Let's see. Oh, For Your Enjoyment says they did a game downtown Louisville where they had to follow clues and walk around and save the beast for Belle. Then had dinner at Nick and Norman's, which was great. I'm excited by that. That sounds like a great, I would, I would really love that. So. And in case you didn't notice, I put a significant amount of bacon grease in here. Uh, normally, you would be doing this in a wok, but I have a glass top stove that's not wok friendly, and I have never been willing to spend the fortune for an electric wok. I get like this close all the time, and I just never can make myself spend the money. So a few things are going to happen here. We're going to start with this bacon grease. It's getting nice and warmed up and melted. Yep, and Carrie says he is on no caffeine or coffee for life. The 21st of October will be three years carnivore. Wow, yeah, you're really sticking to it. That's great. Oh, and Mama Bear Lynette altered another wedding dress today. We'll finish the bustle tomorrow. Spent a long day. That's, I mean, wedding dresses are no joke. They are a lot of work. Oh, and Alan says he needs to go to some of the meetups. It sounds like a great time. 
I always enjoy the meetups a lot. I burn my fingers on my teapot. Oh, it's, oh, Carrie, that one is hilarious. Carrie's joke says, why did the green bean answer the door? Because he was in the can. Or oh, why, why didn't the green bean answer the door? Ah, let's see. Oh, let's see, uh, let's see. I'm trying to catch up in there. Oh, let's see, oh, the warden is answering Alan's Awesome Keto. Heard he put on an amazing show. Uh, Oh, her work sister has gone to three of them. Oh, okay. I missed a comment that says what uh, Alan's Awesome Keto did. A concert of some sort. Let me find it. There we go. Oh, went to an Ed. Oh, hey, Ed Sheeran concert. Uh, you know what? I, I like a lot of his songs. All right, so there our tea can be good to go. But I'm having a sip of my cool water. Okay. Oh, and uh, for your enjoyment is adding that all KPL folks, the Nick and Normans is two blocks from the Galt House and offers lettuce rack buns and sides like Brussels and asparagus. All right. So here's the thing. We're going to expect some uh, greasy, bacony action. Uh, we're going to toss these in and fry them. We want to get them going, and what's going to happen? is that the beans are gonna like, uh, the outer bit of it is gonna shrivel up and get parts of it are gonna get like tar dark toasty brown spots. Right, Carrie, I'll read your joke in a minute. Let's see, let me start with this. Put that in the seat. Trying to think here for a minute what I need. A bowl. All right, these are going to take a minute to cook, so it's just what it is. We'll have to chat while I uh, attempt to give these a bit of a fry. I might turn the temperature up just a smidge. So, let's see what we've got here. Oh, uh, Miss Perkley and Perpetito. Well, thank you. So, Cindy's going to reach out to see if I want to come on one of our Friday Night Lives. Oh, I'm always open to doing that. I don't do a lot of the, the uh, duet type stuff, but I'm always open to it. Feel free, yeah. Just, uh, just send me an IM. I'll get it. I check my other because I have a lot of Ohio Con attendees and uh, uh, crochet uh, students and things like that. And some of my, uh, my uh, fitness clients also contact me, but we're not uh, friends on Facebook because we keep that uh, separation. So, Oh, and uh, Renee says the sound turned down because she was watching a movie, but she just got to say, wow. Ben, how are you doing? I can't believe how much activity you are able to have. Which, by the way, I'm not eating all these green beans tonight. I'm going to give them a nice little taste and maybe eat a few of them. But I'm hoping that these are for the, uh, gonna be for a couple days for my morning breakfast, where I like to have my uh, Asian noodle soup. The uh, extra spicy beans on top of there will be extra nice. Look at that, stirring and pouring at the same time. And I'm not, haven't spilled anything yet or burned myself. It's a miracle. All right, how about that? But it's too hot for me to drink it because I see the steam pouring off of it. Beans are getting there. They take, they take five minutes or so, but like we're not in a rush, we've got an hour. So let's see. Carrie, you got a pile of the jokes tonight. Just, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Jen says she loves the sizzle. I do too. That's how you know they're good. Uh, Carrie said the tea looks good. You know, you can't go wrong with oolong. And like I said, because of the high roast means that they dry the leaves uh, obviously faster. It's not as dark. And it gets like that nice, uh, lovely sort of... Uh, a lighter, more slightly more floral aspect to it. 
My beans are getting there, you guys. I'm excited. So, I just, we hardly ever have beans. Oh, Sharon's asking us if we go to K-pop, if there will be a tea option. You know what? I honestly don't know. I can't remember, but I'll be honest, we don't want hot tea there. We want cold drinks and ice waters because basically you get your pot. We've got a, it has a Korean barbecue on one side and then everybody gets their individual pots of broth and you are like right here with a steaming broiling broth, uh, cooking your food and eating and slurping right over it. Uh, we want icy drinks. Uh oh, I know because normally, oops, I missed cutting up one of the beans. It's, it's too big. Burning my finger there, but that's all right. It was worth it to show you my screw up. <laughs> so the nice thing is they get like almost sweet smelling as they continue to fry up and I'm about ready to pull them. Almost, not quite, almost there. Some of them are getting uh, nice and dark. Let's see. Oh, um, Sana says, uh, went to a fancy Costco an hour away and, of course, failed the mission of leaving with just one item. Costco wins again. Listen, there's no such thing as going to Costco for just one item. I have a friend, Annie's asking if she can wear her neck pin. You can wear whatever you want. So does that mean that we've decided and that you guys are saying that we, we, we need to do the hot pot? Because I'm okay with that, but um, let's try and aim a little bit closer to the 4.30ish uh, kind of time frame before the big dinner rush hits. So, all right, I'm going to pull these green beans. That's right, we have to take them out. And then if you wanted, you could go a little bit longer, but I like mine to stay a little bit, uh, for lack of a better word, al dente. Plus, they're going to cook some more in a few minutes. So ask me some questions so that we can talk about it. And I will come around and show you the beans up close so you can see what I mean about them getting blistered. Come on, bean, get out of here. Now I've got to turn the fat down because we don't want it to be too high heat because we don't want to burn the next things that are going in there. So once you have your beans, let me blow on it a little bit so you can see, oops, so you can see how they come out. They are hot, so, but yeah, so they've got that nice uh, blistered sort of texture. Now don't freak out because they don't got no seasoning. Seasoning is to come. But don't worry, we will put all the seasonings. So let's see. I, I hope that I showed you the green beans. It kind of looked like it, but I wasn't 100%. Attila says he managed to go into a Costco and an Ikea the same day and was able to leave with just holding everything in his hands. No bag, challenge completed. I'm gonna say though, it technically, yes, but also you bought lots of one thing. Those were some full arms, I'm sure. Let's see. Anyway, so now we're to the, the next part. But before I get going on it, I'm going to share a few things with you. I've got here some uh, containers of seasoning. This one says Ichimi Togarashi. Now, this is simply just the togarashi chili. When you are in Asian groceries and you see anything that says togarashi or uh, a variant, and then on the side in the ingredients it says chili pepper, that's what it is. It's the togarashi chili. Uh, air fried auntie, this chili powder will kill you dead. Don't ever try it. It's hot for me. It's very what I call zappy. Uh, 
I think like uh, like scorpions do that as well when you when you uh, eat it and it almost feels like a little bit of electricity. So it's very spicy, chilly, hot. So and very zappy. So but and I'm not using the plain togarashi because I got lazy and I bought myself some pre-made. Uh, this is Nanami Togarashi, which is a seasoning blend that uses the Togarashi chili powder. But uh, I, have, I think I even have everything to make my own, but I just was like, oh, this container was, was you know, it was under a dollar. Well, it was exactly a dollar. So I was like, well, never mind. And what this is, is this seasoning uh, is a it's a it's often called seven spice like I know that you've heard of Chinese five spice because we've used it before and talked about it but uh, Togarashi if you ever watch like anime or Asian shows when they're having their Asian soups you'll you'll often see the characters go oh this is Togarashi this is what they're talking about this seven spice uh, says the 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 Togarashi the chili pepper orange peel black sesame seed, white sesame seed, Japanese pepper, ginger seaweed, oh, ginger and seaweed. Uh, Japanese pepper, by the way, uh, they mean some of this. Uh, and this is the, uh, the Sichuan uh, chili pepper, only uh, picked green. They didn't let it go all the way to red and then they ground it in, they dried it and ground it into a fine powder. So, here I have a little bit of uh, coconut aminos and fish sauce, the basics. I have garlic paste. I love, oh no, I'm sorry, this is ginger paste. Ginger paste. And then I have minced garlic that I have, uh, it's roasted min, uh, minced garlic, uh, a fairly significant amount of it. And then... This is the this is the non-traditional ingredient. I didn't get chili flakes or any of that other stuff. Instead, um, I forgot what I got. You know, stuff we use all the time. Hang on, my words, you guys, they went away. No, it's just the garlic chili sauce. So it's garlic with garlic and some more garlic and then some chili. So I'm going to start by throwing, where'd my spatula go? You guys, there it is. I'm losing my mind here. This is uh, cooking with nerds. That's how it goes. All right, so we get our garlic going and we throw in the garlic paste and our red chili sauce. All right, and that is going to give it like a really nice fragrant uh, flavor base for the beans. See, I told you we would be seasoning things, which by the way, this does work with green beans and it is mm, fantastic. Hey, Cindy, nice to see you tonight. Let's see. Uh, oh, I know. I'm sure there are plenty of things that I'm missing in the comments. I saw Attila mentioned his 20 pair of socks. And the comforter. Oh, Rickman says the Disney things are out. Uh, avoiding them or we'll be buying all things that uh, Rickman doesn't need. You know what? I don't know about that. Oh, and Air Fry Nanny says duly noted, not by the death chili. Yes. So let's see what else we got here. Uh, lots of, just lots of hellos back and forth. Okay. Oh, and Air Fry Nanny says she needs to make our Asian wings tonight. Ooh, what goes on those? Share. All right, so I turned it down too much. Let me double check my... Okay, now it's good. It'll heat back up and fry this off a little bit. It smells amazing. So if you're not familiar with, uh, with the Szechuan peppers, it's because people equate them to very spicy, and they are, but they're really super floral. Mm. It's like sweet smelling. And what it is is they're instead of spicy in the way that we're used to with uh, traditional chilies. Let me throw this back in there. 
instead of uh, that kind of spicy, it's actually kind of more of a of a, a numbing sensation that people talk about. All right. All right, this is getting little bits of color. So we're gonna go ahead and throw our beans back in. See, it's weird, but you have to get do it in that order. And on top of the chilies that we've put in here already, now we're gonna bring in some of the seasoning to give it that brighter citrusy sesame sort of mm, and the seaweed and then we will add in just a little more pop from the Sichuan peppers I might have gone heavy-handed there it's just the way I like it does the lighting on here keep flicking and changing it does on my screen Oh, uh, oh, uh, Air Friend Annie says uh, her wings get uh, rice vinegar, garlic minced, coconut aminos, keto brown sugar, ground ginger, and garlic chili sauce, and sesame oil. That sounds phenomenal. Even though we just ate wings this weekend, I, that makes me want wings again. So, and I'll tell you about that once we get our green beans cooked. I keep saying, oh, I'm not going to eat all these because that's too many for one sitting, but they are so, they smell so good, and they are so, so, so delightful. And before I finish them off, I want to show you guys something. I'll show you the plate first. So, I was shopping. I'm going to come around. And some of you who are on my regular Facebook saw this already. But they had this little kitty cat, uh, a Maniki Nico spoon. And I was like, I don't want to get just like a random weird spoon. But as it turned out, then they also had these hand-painted dishes. So you know I had to buy it. I bought myself that. So I'm just like a really, I'm a real sucker for Maniki Nico cat stuff. Uh, God, it smells amazing. I wish that there, I wish we had smell -o vision video or whatever you would call that because this is one of those dishes that when you get, when you're cooking it, man, it hits you and you're like, wow. And now we just add our last bit of sauce here, which by the way, in case you're wondering why we didn't add salt, fish sauce and uh, chili garlic all have salt in it. And we actually needed the uh, sweetness of the coconut aminos to kind of tame with the chili. We don't want to be adding salt here. Uh, the fish, the fish sauce adds all the salt we need. All right. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm just taking one second. Come up close so you can see how how lovely these look. There we go. This concludes your up close things tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these into the storage container. So I'm excited because what I actually have is I have my favorite noodles. I have some, uh, I have several types of bone broth and I have some seasoned eggs still and I have both beef belly and pork stick. So I feel like I am going to be really set for some nice things this week for meals. Oh, I have another thing to show you that I got at the uh, Korean grocery because I went to all the groceries this weekend. Hang on. Thought I was gonna sneeze. I had like that scent, that chili scent in my nose for a second. I was like, oh no, but it passed. 
So, all right, let's get into these comments. Let's see. Wow, I really, I really let it get behind. Okay, Disney things. Let's see. Oh, and Carrie says that he thinks he might have seen that when he was watching anime the last time. Nice, nice, nice. So it's good to see more hellos back and forth. Let's see. Oh, and uh, oh, Renee's asking about my ferment projects. Oh, uh, everything's great. Uh, I've got some radish going right now because radish is my favorite. And uh, says so she's really proud of Shelly and how her inspiration has taken off with so many on a common mission. Yeah, I I've been fermenting things for a long time though. So I like fermenting and pickles. Like, so I've got fermented radish and I've got some radish pickling as well because I love radish and there's so many types. Okay, Cindy, I will get back to you. I don't know if it'll be tonight. It might be in the morning uh, just because I don't, I'm really tired and we'll talk about why. So I might, after the live stream, take my magnesium and then just go chill in bed and uh, read a book. Maybe. We'll see. But then again, often I can't keep myself offline. So I might sit in my chair and uh, read a book and then answer you. So we'll see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, Carrie says he was looking at the tea and found uh, peppermint tea can help with his studies and test later as, since it boosts your brain. Yep, uh, we've talked. Uh, yeah, peppermint is a is a great thing. It's really nice. It also is good for your digestion. Hey, two two cute cat. Oh, I'm glad that you're here. I should have saved one bean so that we could look at it again when other people had joined. Uh, we had Chinese long beans, but of course now they're all cut up and cooked. I'm just letting them cool down enough before I take a big old chomp. I don't want to burn myself. Oh, and, and the warden says she's very excited that so many find inspiration in her. Well, you know what? Uh, that's because you are inspirational, and it's awesome. Okay, and then the wing recipe. We caught that before. Uh, Sana's heading off to watch a movie with the hubby while there's still some weekend to be enjoyed. All right, good night. I hope that you have an awesome one. Let's see. Air Fry Annie needs to get some riced cauliflower. Yeah, actually, and by the way, this is excellent with like some ground pork and then put over the uh, uh, sticky rice or fried rice, uh, fried collie rice. I should be more specific because it ain't rice. So, yep. Yeah. More hellos. Let's see. Oh, and the warden says uh, heat destroys bacteria. Okay. Yeah, oh, and uh, yeah, Shauna, I have more things to share with you. I got a whole set. I can't wait. Give me a minute to, let's see. Oh, and for your to enjoyment, it says top this with an egg, a perfectly fried egg, and call it dinner. Yep. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. They, they go with anything. Hey, Dennis, nice to see you. It's been a while. Let's see. Oh, and then Renee says she loves Texas Day Brazil way better than Fogo, just her experience. You know what? I like Texas Day Brazil better than Fogo as well. Not that I'll ever say no to Fogo. And I'll tell you what, I like Texas Day Brazil and Fogo better than the Bonaraza, uh, which is, or, and uh, what's the one in Louisville? I can't remember the name of it. Not that it's bad. 100%. I will eat there and I will eat and enjoy all of the meats. I'm just saying that if I have to rank them, Texas Day Brazil, Fogo de Chao, then the rest. Mm. Oh, so good. And very spicy. Mm. Mm. The sweetness from the long bean really plays with that super hot spice, which, boy, it's hot. There's my Sichuan taste. I guess like a little bit of a numbing streak up my tongue. I love that about the Sichuan pepper. Mm. Okay, so, you know what? I forgot something important, you guys. Oh, what a loser. Sesame seeds. So let me just throw some sesame seeds on there, too. Yeah, can't skip a... Oh, good night, Rocky Mountain girl. I missed where you were saying good night, but oh, there you are. You got a scoop. All right, well, it's good to see you. 
All right, so let me show you how I went crazy. Look at this, look, look, look. A little, a little side dish or noodle dish or a sauce bowl. And it has the cat. And then you've got your, your middle bowl also with the cat. And then I got myself the full size bowl for my soups. I know, I know. There's no, I didn't need this at all, but it gave me such a, I was so happy. I love it. So I've got the whole kit and caboodle now because then I also have my soup spoons. So I might have to get white ceramic chopsticks to match. I don't know, it just feels like it would be a better coloration, but my chopsticks are all either this black acrylic or bamboo. So. So the long beans come out crispy and crunchy. They're so good. And, and all I say is mind your spice. Make it as spicy for you. <coughs> I made mine spicy, almost too spicy for me. It's not too spicy. I'm going to love it. But it's good. Oh, man, just those couple bites and I'm like, ah, oh, my tongue. Delightful. I love that. Hey, Miriam. Uh, yes, there is. I don't know where they are at on the reservations. If you are on Facebook at all, go into the, the, the WAC uh, daily update group and search in there because uh, Jamie ha has the reservation. And I don't know where they are at on the counts. I know it was capped at 40. So, but uh, that's who you would reach out to. No, I only got one set. That's good because really we have we have lots of other dishes like I think you guys have seen. We have a, a set of four of my standard of our standard ramen bowls. And then when I have like uh, things that need a bowl, but not quite a deep noodle bowl, I have a set of these like shallow bowls. Also four of those. And then we have just your these uh, standard, uh, I don't know what, just standard bowls that came with our dinner set. So really this was just for me, just for me. And I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it or where I'm gonna store it. I'm gonna have to make a space, so. So I will, what do you mean by report on, by report on the recent K, what do you mean on, uh, do you mean, uh, do you mean Keto Palooza? So it's coming up the first weekend of October and it is currently sold out. There are no more tickets available for Keto Palooza. So we, uh, we that's why we told you, told people buy yourself, uh, buy your tickets. So I'm excited. Some people that I'm used to seeing there aren't going to be there, but there are going to be so many amazing faces. Okay. Hunger Heath says they're called cereal bowls. And barely, barely begun says exact, uh, you are exactly right. If I just use them every day, then, and I obviously will, I will. There's no storage. That's true. Actually. Yep. Yes. I'm going to put them back on the stove now, though, because they just look cute. So, but it's, it's really, it's actually really a perfect set for me because I do eat in that fashion where I use like the mix and match. So it works out great and really no one else needs them. Can I promise that I won't go back and buy the sets in other colors and eventually make myself a colorful full set of dishes? I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, Air Friday says 12 days till KPL, nine days till Ohio fun. Yes, I can't wait. We're going to have a blast here that Wednesday. So 
I will say, oh, also in regards to KPL, um, nope, I'm not sure. And the warden is right. We're, you know, we're gonna miss the we're gonna miss the the warden and uh, and Hungry Heath at KPL. But as a reminder, I know that they're gonna be playing a a, a name that tune game on Friday night. And before then, we're gonna have a meet and greet. So I'm going to the meet and greet. And then uh, by 8:30, I plan to be back in my hotel room, and I will set us up with some additional little charcuterie and some coffee and all that good stuff. And what we're gonna do is then we will, uh, I will, Radical Geek, dial right into the Hungry Heath live stream, and we'll chat for from nine to 10 with, the, with them. And then after that, we can uh, socialize, we can just leave it on the big screen. Uh, uh, by 11 o'clock though, I turn into a pumpkin because I'm an early morning person. So then I will boot you guys out and uh, see those of you who are early birds bright and early in the morning for a coffee. So that's the plan. I'm looking forward to it Friday night. Mm. Mm. It's super sweet and then so hot. I love it. It's the best. Mm. This would be good with fish. Mm. Yeah, like a nice. Uh, a swordfish, maybe? Mmm. That would be great. Renee says we can always just stop in for the chats. Absolutely. But we're going to join for an hour. Everybody can join in on the chats however we want to do it. We can, it. It'll be good. We'll figure it out. Uh, we probably should test once before we before Keto Palooza. <laughs> oh, Wednesday is Marion's birthday. Ah, oh, happy birthday! And just as per usual on this channel, our gift to you is that I will not sing for you. You're welcome. Have a curtsy. <laughs> so, what else we got going on? That was all my shopping. Oh yeah. So speaking of spicy. I also got myself an awesome treat at the Korean grocery. Like I said, I went everywhere. This is spicy pickled yellow radish. Let me open it up. Oh, it's so uh, pickly, uh, which makes sense since it's pickled, but it's like super, uh, I don't know if you've had a lot of uh, Korean type pickles, but Korean pickles, just like Sichuan pickles, are super 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 sour and really spicy uh, this is a, a yellow radish though let me I'll bring it up I know I'm just gonna bring all this stuff up to show you let's see am I showing you no not yet let's see there we are sorta I don't know I'm having trouble reaching now there we go But I love this too. It's another thing. The, the radish is sweet, but also because it's been pickled and it's super tart. And whereas uh, a lot of uh, uh, Chinese pickles will add sugar to it, uh, Korean pickles use some sugar, but it does not reflect in the end flavor as much. It's really dependent on the vegetables. Mm. Oh man, it's so good. Oh. Mm. And nobody else really likes them, so it's all for me. Which is why I can eat it out of the container. It'll be gone before eating out of the container is a bad thing. Mm. Oh god, it's so good. I gotta put it away because I don't need it. Mm. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Mm -hmm. so anyways now I've had all kinds of things that a lot of people don't like you to have oh two vegetables not just one two and chilies mm -mm -mm. I guess well chili is a fruit so I'm eating vegetables and fruit ooh la la mm. 
Okay. And can I just tell you all that spiciness and the uh, Szechuan numbing up my tongue and the uh, crunchy. Now that the tea has come to a more reasonable temperature, it's so delightful. It The tea, that's another thing, kind of really leans in and blends with the spicy. Oh, it's like heaven. Yep, that's the stuff. By the way, this spicy kind of uh, mix also works really good on like mustard greens. <laughs> the warden says I'm almost vegan. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to have a different sort of attitude for that and I just don't have it. Uh, earlier today, I ate pork belly because we smoked a bunch of it to eat out throughout the week. Um, pork belly, let's see. Uh, because things have been hectic and busy, we also, I bought a package of Costco of that grass-fed sliced beef. Uh, that's, that makes it something that's quick and easy. And then for myself, I also got some salted seaweed. So that'll be nice to have like a little bit of a side, uh, another salty, pickly, briny sort of uh, dish. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, uh, Carrie's asking me how the tea is. Uh, the tea is heavenly. It is really good. It's so smooth and uh, I, I couldn't ask for better. So I see that uh, Jen is saying, no, I used baking grease so I can be saved. <laughs> That's true, I did add my uh, nap. Mm. So, and Carrie is coming with a joke some more. Uh, Air Fry Nanny, yes, your, your Asian wing sauce on pork belly would be awesome. It would be really good. Uh, your pork belly will get crispy, but also like a, that sticky coating on it. So it's, it's good. Oh no. Oh, skate. Mm. So good. And Carrie says, when does he not have a joke? It's true, but I love, I love them all. I love all your dad jokes. Hmm. Whew, that was a bite. Man. It was such, it was a tricky one too, because it got spicy at the back. Hmm. Sorry, we got quiet for a second. Oh, and Jen Joyment says she bought some of the real good chicken nuggets to try this week. I, I look forward to your review. I have not because every time I get like a coupon and I try one of the real good brand foods, I have been sorely disappointed and I'm like, wow. But I know other people like them because they post about it. They're like, oh, I'm excited. I got this. I love it. It's delicious. And then I get it and I'm like, ugh. But some of that I think is because I cook stuff like this on the regular. And so I might just be used to a different palette. And then uh, Air Fry Nanny says, how can she be hungry? She's still stuffed from lunch. Uh, actually, maybe you're thirsty. Have yourself some, uh, some, a little bit of water with a pinch of salt in it and see if that makes you feel better. Or eat one kosher dill pickle sphere or a couple of slices and see if that alleviates your hunger. It could be electrolytes and water. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Marion said something. I missed what was on sale half price. Do -do -do. I'm trying to scroll through Asian sauce combo. Oh, air fried any combo pork belly and chicken wings. Absolutely. Uh, Carrie jokes. Uh, I guess that was it. I don't know, Marianne. What, uh, can you repeat what you got or can someone? I don't know. I, I missed what you got at half price at Costco. And I don't know why, but suddenly now I got to know. Because I missed it. Which makes you want to know, you know, that whole curiosity thing. Oh, good night. Good night, Jen. See you soon. Uh, yeah. All right. So anyways, 
any last questions about the long beans which by the way sometimes they're called snake beans sometimes they're called yard beans um what's some other things that i've heard them called i can't think of anything else let's see yard beans snake beans uh yeah, I think that's, that's, there's several other names that they get called. Oh, the real good chicken strips. Okay. Yeah, so did you try them and what did you think of them? Okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, it's coming together for me now. But I'm curious, if you tried them, Marianne, and what did you think? Mm. I made uh, nuggets. But out of tuna the other day, and I was really surprised at how good they were. So I will actually make those again sometime. Oh, and the warden, thank you so much for reminding everybody to click the thumbs up. That's appreciated. Mm. And even though it's super spicy, I feel like I'm having a dessert. I don't know why, but probably it's the sweetness of the bean. Even though they are not carby, they're very they're basically very similar in nutrition to green beans. So they're not carby, especially in this kind of quantity. But something about the uh, the bean itself, and then combined with that extra hot spicy, I feel like I'm having my evening dessert, which is, which makes sense since I had the pork belly. All right, so. Oh, Marion didn't, didn't think they were that great. Yeah, well, as long as they weren't bad, I think that's probably the biggest thing, right? So, all right, everyone. What do we have going on this week? I feel like I have... I was like, I was almost going to say, oh, I'm going to have a great week with nothing going on. But that's a lot because I've got work, so much work, so much work. And then uh, this weekend, uh, we have a night uh, out with some local people at the uh, bar. Uh, so we'll go to that. And then the very next day, we turn around and we go to a gaming party. So no rest for the wicked. So it is what it is though. I think we will have a great time and we love seeing our gaming friends from OhioCon. That's gonna be amazing. Hmm. Our director who is hosting is a magical person with <coughs> with the smoker. Ooh, that's a that's that was a togarashi bite for sure. Ooh. Delicious. And then Carrie says he has a, a drive to Houston for his uh, point for his mental health appointment for benefits he claimed. So hopefully after this he can get benefits. That's awesome. I really hope that works out. It may take a couple uh, patches of effort, but it'll once you get going, that'll be great. And then Rickwin needs to start their next batch of El Ruderai yogurt tonight. Has found it really cuts the cravings. Yeah, that's smart. Can't beat the price at just over two dollars per pound. Oh well, there is that. Mm. Two dollars a pound is good right now. Groceries have gotten so crazy expensive. That's it's it's hard. So, but uh, like I said, like stuff like this though. If you go into like the international groceries, check out their their produce, and often their meats are really high quality, but. Uh, lower in price than a lot of our regular uh, groceries so that's a that's a thing that can help too. make sure you check that out and given that it's uh 729 so i'm gonna finish off my little green bean uh spicy making my lips burn snack here and finish my tea and go to bed so you guys you have an awesome evening thank you so much for sharing your time with me i hope you enjoyed seeing long beans Another new veggie for a lot of people, I hope. And I will see you all real soon. Bye-bye.